Hey, Jim Parquet here with VPX Baseball, and today we're going to start lesson one of commanding your barrel, right? I'm going to give you a full explanation of what that is. This could potentially be one of the most important courses you're ever going to take on hitting, but I'm going to start off by explaining some things about commanding your barrel, okay? I'm a former big league pitcher, and I train pitching and hitting at the top levels of the game. And what I can tell you is the game has changed significantly. My last year in pro ball was 2007. I've had thousands and thousands of at-bats from a big league mound and a minor league mound, college mound, to be able to understand hitting because in order for me to be successful, I've got to be a student of hitting because that's my enemy. I've got to understand it, right? So my sophomore year in the big leagues, um, I had a great first half, and then my second half, I couldn't pitch myself out of a broom closet. And so what I did was I started going, hey, I got the same pitches and the same execution and intent, but the numbers aren't there, and what's going on? So I started, every time we go in and, and start a new series, we go you know, to New York or wherever it might be, play the Yankees, the Orioles, whomever it was, I would start to sit down with their boppers, right? Future Hall of Famers, guys who were just dominating the league, um, the Martinez's, the Gonzalez's, and all of those guys that are household names. And I would just say, hey, tell me how you hit. Tell me what you do. Why are you doing it? This stuff isn't on Google. It's not on the internet. Most of the time, it's not even at the big league level, right? It's because it's behind closed doors, okay? And what I found was this, really simple. I whiteboarded it, uh, it all up. You know, we'd be out to dinner or just talking in the clubhouse, and I whiteboarded it. And what I found was this. All guys had a different process, right? It's feel-based. It's not mechanics or cookie cutter. Hitting is feel-based, okay? The second one is because you're moving so fast, it's not necessarily about really recognizing and reacting like they say. It's about staying with your, your, your uh, approach and doing one thing great with your approach, creating as much play coverage as you possibly can. Great hitters always talk about this, trying to keep their barrel in the zone as long as they can, right? So get it in there early and keep it there long, okay? Creating that flat spot, right? If you look at a great hitter, man, you're gonna see a nice flat spot and the better the hitter, the longer the flat spot, right? So play coverage. Now I started thinking, and throughout all the years, I've learned what those guys were saying, right? Whether they were doing the drills and that kind of stuff, they were saying, Everything I do is towards plate coverage. How do I get plate coverage? Well, it's a feel thing, right? And what is the feel? That's the definition. It's figuring out how to command your barrel for as early and long as you can, because this is a 33 or 34 ounce club with all of the weight pretty much at the top end, right? So think about this. Here, here I am, this is balanced, okay? But I gotta go forward with it. So if I go forward, it's gonna drop, right? because all the weight's gonna go, okay? Think about this, if I'm right here, because this is, a, this is a hitting plane, kind of right in here. Here's a hitting plane, this would be at contact. Where's all, the, where's all the weight? It's there, it's pulling me down. How do I counteract that? I hit through my heels or stay connected through my heels. I keep my real estate. The more real estate I give up, the more it's there. Watch what happens. If I give up real estate and I go out the ball, I see this beach ball, you left it up, right? And I go out this way, how many of you hitters do this? Right? I exaggerated it, but you get the idea of how your head, what does it do? It drops it. But if I maintain my real estate and counteract to command the barrel weight, not the barrel or the bat, but to command the barrel weight, watch what happens. The ball goes up, right? We talk about this in a lot of our videos. The better that you can stay away from the ball, obviously we don't want to be like this, but you get the idea, the more the ball goes up. The more that you get closer or give up your real estate, the more, ball, the more the ball goes down or pops straight up. And the reason why is because you've lost command of the barrel, you've maintained command. If I maintain command of the barrel, the ball goes up and I can do a lot of things with the barrel manipulated, okay? Maintaining real estate, how do I do that? By creating great support down here and locking through my heels. Hit with your heels. Every guy that I've ever seen in my box, if they took a bad swing, they were on their toes. They, they, they put the ball into the stands, man, they just looked like they were just effortless, just like right here. 
Like, what the hell just happened? I just threw 93 and you just put a 405 and you look like you didn't even break a sweat because they're connected through their heels. They are hitting and maintaining their real estate, right? So one of the other things you have to understand is the game has changed a lot, okay? A lot of guys are teaching the old school approach to hitting. A lot of hitters are doing this old school approach to hitting where we are coming down and creating this steep stuff. You gotta understand that the game has changed a lot. The fastball's gone off, the sliders, curveballs, sinkers, cutters, all of the things have gotten nastier. I mean, if you got into a big league box, you'd get seasick. You'd have to take Dramamine before you got in because the ball moves so much and it moves so fast these days that hitters had to do something because pitchers were dominating. They were just getting stronger and throwing more stuff. So what did hitters start to do? Well, in the, back in the day, right, and we're not saying too far back, but right around that 2003 or four, we started, I started seeing a lot of this more, a lot of flattening of the swing. So this is what I saw. You're the pitcher right now, okay? Or, or yeah, you're the pitcher and I'm the hitter, obviously. This is what I saw. Let me take this out so that way I don't hit you. I saw more swings like this, okay? Look at my barrel. It was like a, a parabola where it would come down and then kind of finish. So it was, it was kind of like that, right? It was, it was here, okay? And I'd see this barrel being thrown, and but it would be in this action. Then about 2003-ish, right in that range, maybe 01, you started seeing a lot of guys that were having a lot of success that were like this. And you started seeing this action rather than this action, right? So this was more of the old school, Guys were still smashing and being very successful, made a lot of money doing that. And then you started seeing this action, and guys were being more successful that way, right? Now, I don't know if necessarily they were being taught that, but they figured it out because hitters are real smart. Otherwise, they don't have a job. And essentially what it was, from the side view, this would be the old school approach, okay? Now, obviously I hit that on the ground, but you can see, I'll try to, create that backspin by having more come down, throw your barrel, right? It's hands, throw your barrel, right? So here, there it is. That's that backspin that all the guys were trying to create. It's a little hard for me to do that, but you get the idea. Here's the new school approach, right? Create launch angle. You hear this, launch angle and creating it is one simple thing, match the pitch plane. Well, if you are seeing a pitch just like that, I mean, just like that, it's by you. Right here, it's by you. You can't sit here and go, hey, let me train matching launch angle perfect. No, that's not gonna work. That might work when the guys are bowling the stuff up there, right, at 60, because it's like this, right? Okay, now I can match that. But when the ball, when you face a good dominant pitcher, it's gonna happen just like that, and you can't sit there and try to match playing. What it is, or, 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 or create launch angle. What it is, is just seeing where that vector is. I know, I know when the guy comes, right? When the guy comes right here and right out of the fingers, you know it's gonna be here, here, wherever it might be, or at least real close to that. Instinct should kick in to where you're putting your barrel in that zone somewhere, right? And how do we do that? Well, new school is this. Boom, right? We're gonna get our separation. That's always been there, okay? Big hit moves, bam, right in here. Maintaining real estate, I'm gonna create plate coverage. But I'm gonna slot earlier now. And when I slot earlier, now I've lost command of the barrel. Unless I've created a lot of separation, right? So it's big separation, boom, slot, okay? And that slotting will start to get your barrel in to where you're matching pitch plane and you're able to command it. Now notice where my head is. This is command here. That's commanding, so I could do that. You can see that flat spot, because I got in early, I stayed long, okay? But watch what happens when I, bam, I'm right here. I, I, okay, you made a mistake, boom, I'm right here, I'm on you, I'm on you. Old school said to throw your top hand at that right now, okay? From this point, throw your top hand, okay? That's still a good, good get. Okay, I'll take it, right? New school says, command your barrel longer. So set up longer so that you can use this portion of everything to set your barrel up to where you feel you are matching that pitch plane, right? So it's here, 
now I'm going to be in this position. And when I'm in this position, I can't be this way. Because if I'm this way, watch what happens. Ball pops up and fades. Well, my head and I, re and, and, I, and I maintain my real estate and I hit through my heels, watch what happens. The ball goes exactly how I want it. Plus, I'm able to keep this down a little longer and get some good rotation, what I want right here. Boom, right, right there. Now, notice what I'm doing. I'm opening with my elbow and back hip connected. Old school's not that right there okay so if i'm going to command my 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 barrel by matching pitch plane earlier and increasing plate coverage because i need that in today's game because it goes so quick the ball gets up on me okay i've got to get my barrel ready to hit earlier so in order to do that i've got to get here bam i'm set but i'm not going to do it like this i'm going to still stay closed and then together I'm gonna do that and rotate. So my hips are gonna bring this together and I'm gonna throw my barrel. So together I'm gonna to throw compared to before where it was stay on plane longer and stay closed as long, a lot longer, right? So watch, this is, this is how you command your barrel if you want to get your barrel in the zone earlier, right here. And then together I'm gonna to throw my barrel and rotate. There it is. Real good, feel good, you can see the flat spot, okay? Here's the old school approach. I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna get more steep. I'm gonna steep, be steeper, but I'm gonna throw my top hand. That's still good, I'm gonna create that backspin, okay? Two different approaches, not to say the first or second is better, but I'm saying both of them are geared towards one thing, commanding your barrel, right? Getting back to what those guys said, right? Those are the greatest hitters of our time for the most part more plate coverage because I need more plate coverage because the ball is coming quicker and because I have dirtier stuff coming at me. So therefore, if I have more time in the zone with what hits the ball, my barrel, I'm gonna be more successful, right? So how do I do that? I've gotta slot earlier and I've gotta get my barrel in the zone earlier, right? How do I do that? I throw, instead of just throwing without the hip, I need extra movement, boom, right there. And that's why you see this a lot. This is what you see, right? Now you don't see this. A lot of people are misinterpreting. That's losing command of your barrel. Now the barrel's here. They're misinterpreting and saying, hey, you gotta, you gotta open this. Yeah, you do somewhat and lift your front elbow. You do, but there's an opportunity cost when you lose command. This would still be commanded. I'm doing it. This would be losing command. And now I'm the internet hitter right here, right? You see young kids all the time. They're like, Oh, that's, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, you're gonna get your little base hit, your flare, but at some point, someone's gonna come around and be like this on it, where he opened up a little, or lifted a little, but he's able to really drive this pitch, right? Just like this. Boom. I opened, I, I lifted just a little, but I didn't lose command of the barrel. So the key here in this series is to teach you how to Keep command of this barrel through all the centripetal forces, right? Through either, maybe you might be doing in old school, come a little steeper. You might be doing the new school, open up a little early, clear your hips and whatever, right? That's a feel thing. That's gonna be up to you, right? Not necessarily wrong, maybe a little outdated if you're coming a little steep, but still real good, still real good, right? Last portion of this, okay? How do I do all of this? There's only one thing that matters in order to do it, right? I'm trying to create pl bigger plate coverage. How do I do that? I have to have good feel. What is that feel? That feel is commanding the barrel. Don't lose command of this barrel. How do I command the barrel? It's simple. Build a strong support through concrete. What concrete do you have to use? It's your heels. You go through your toes, that's quicksand or just sand or maybe dirt. Hit through your heels to maintain real estate. Therefore, you're not doing this and allowing the barrel to bring you around and you'll be really successful, right? Because at the end of the day, this is what hits the bat. This is what commands. This portion right here, just, just 
just hold on. That's it. Just hold on to this bat as you're going through. You could hit and smash if you were if you had enough. If you had a Popeye size forearm, you'd be able to still smash this way. But like this, you wouldn't be able to as much, right? Top hand is very important in connection, connection with your hips, right? And your lower half. And if you do it right, you'll see a nice flat spot like this, right? A ball is here really well um, because I've got a good flat spot on it and I'm trying to create and support everything back here, which is the barrel all the way through. So it should look like this right here, command. Right there. No command of the barrel. Your head's gonna go, your hips are gonna get lazy, and you're gonna go this way, right? And then it steepens you, right? Here we go. And you can see that, right? Obviously it's all uh, exaggerated, but you get the idea, okay? Check out our other videos in this series to help you out. We're gonna go into more detail. We've got a full line of products to get you to the big leagues.